Credit cards. Can you share a credit card with your boyfriend or your girlfriend? I am not sure, but what you need to do is you can add them in your credit card. So if they are first time, they want to have a credit card. Yes, you can let them add a credit card and then when they use it, you are going to pay. I am not sure if that's the correct way, but you need to subscribe to my channel to learn more about the credit card because if you don't subscribe, then I will not teach you everything unless you watch other videos which I have posted about the credit card. The best credit card is the credit card which has a cashback. A cashback is when you go to the to the store, you call it department store or a store or grocery store, whatever you call it in your country, you buy something and then at the end you will see that you have accumulated some points. It can be a point or it can be money. It's all it can be a cashback. Let's say for example, for example of uh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo will cash on your or the money the money the point you have earned they will make give you back as cash another card like american express they will let you use it to travel to buy a point will be translated or transformed into a cash so let's say for example if you want to travel to outside of united states and then you want to use the lounge let's say for example some airports they have a lounge inside the airport and you want to use the american express it's free I think they have some agreement both that you can use the lounge to use the American Express. Also, you can send your luggage. Also, you can blog with the American Express credit card because also it's not just given to anybody. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. The more credit card you have, the more you're going to build your wealth. Let's say, for example, if you pay a cable or you pay your phone, instead of paying with your bank or you pay from your saving, you're going to link your credit card to pay those debts. And for example, we are in inflation now. If you have several credit cards, you will link one credit card to pay for your phone, the other credit card will pay your utility, the other credit card you, you will pay your cable. And this is how you're gonna save the cash because otherwise you're gonna spend all the cash and you keep swiping your credit card, then you don't have saving. That's why I always talk about the credit card with the cash back and also several types of credit card. And minimize, try always to look the credit card which has a longer or which has payment closer or farthest to your payment due or check the credit card when it's it's a due payment if the due payment is closer to your payment due due so you need to take that advantage use that credit card and then pay it and the second pay, paycheck you're gonna pay the other credit card that's how you survive with the credit card the lenders they like to see when you have multiple type of credit cards because they know that you are able to pay them back and you are able to use your common sense or your brain to pay this to pay this and focus outside of work or school or family that you are thinking more also about the the paying of the of the, of the bills how you gonna focus on that it's because you remember i have to pay this credit card i have to pay this i have to pay that so all this will make you to think and then when you have done all this the lenders will be willing to give you the the, the money or more credit card with higher with uh, with higher uh, a lot of money that's what i want to say or with low interest so would you prefer to have your credit card or you will prefer to take a personal loan what's the difference the personal loan is the money you go to the bank and they lend you the money which have a fixed payment and then if you miss that payment what will happen a credit card they don't ask you to pay back this money at a a certain time although there is a due payment if you pay the minimum payment you will still continue to use your credit card that does not mean that you will not use that credit card anymore because you did not pay and that's a good thing about the credit card forget about the personal loan because it's a fixed amount which you have to to pay they, they don't give you the minimum it's the amount which you are asked to pay if you don't pay that money guess what 
you're gonna be in trouble or you're gonna be in a put yourself in the shoe because you did it on yourself instead of using the credit card and learn about the credit card using my uh my topic about the credit the card. more debts you have the more money you're gonna make the less debt you have the poorer you are so what you need to do is to have more credit card and then use them what you need to do when you use them make sure they are giving you a cash back and then don't pay off your credit card the more you pay off your credit card you see your credit card score drop so what you need to do is to use the credit card and then minimize the credit card which is almost to due date that's the credit card you're gonna pay and keep the other one forward so that you can build your credit and then you can have more money to be given whenever you want a loan that's how you became a millionaire you cannot have no debt and you expect a lender to give you a loan would you prefer to have a personal loan or a credit card loan the interest rate matters a lot so if you are good with money you will consider the interest how much money you're gonna pay overall the interest of the money you're gonna borrow if you use your credit card you can carry forward if you want to have a personal loan a personal loan has a fixed rate which you have to pay every month and if you miss that is a problem so would you prefer a personal loan or to use your credit card don't forget to hit the like button or also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more credit card numbers credit card numbers is the numbers which are in front of the credit card each credit card has different numbers for example american express has a number which is behind the card and it's four digit if you have a card which is american express you have a different type of credit card the reason why i like to talk about the credit card of american express because credit card of american express has a lot of benefits while you can brag using that credit card because it's not just given to anyone it's given to people who has a higher credit score or they have businesses or they are doing well in the year with their money or with their you know business or whatever they do don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to help my channel to grow so i can educate you more about the money and when you learn about the using the credit card and build your wealth that's the only way because listen to me we are growing very slow like now inflation we are heading for things like christmas thanksgiving you should be buying things to sell because right now everybody is just stuck with the things nobody is buying them they're gonna sell it cheaper so they can have money and most of the stores they are being closed if you have money to buy a franchise or a business which is started by somebody else this is the best time if you think about it take an extra job go do your do your own diligence so you can learn how and what i'm talking about because you will think when somebody become a millionaire it's just they used to sleep 24 i mean eight hours or six hours probably the most hours i ever sleep it's just like maybe seven or two six hours i usually wake up meditation meditate and pray and then i have kids take them to school back to work and this is how you will feel like everybody looks good but inside them they are not looking good because they are tired and exhausted because of working for paying their credit cards so if you want to have a good life and you stop working all the time 